Hey guys, welcome to the latest episode of Bumping Milk Style, where we give you all the latest in milk, fashion, and lifestyle tips. Okay, so today's milk goes out to the people who I think like to scare the hell out of expecting moms by telling them, enjoy your sleep now. You'll never sleep again. Life's gonna change. You'll never go out. You'll never wear cute clothes. You're gonna have like milk all over you. It's just gonna be just depressing and it will break you. Okay, well that's encouraging. <laughs> I mean, what else? What could a new mom or an expecting mom possibly say to that? I just, why would you say that to someone who's trying to prepare for something that they know is going to change their life? But here's how I would like to respond to people that say, oh, you're pregnant, enjoy your sleep now. What do you say to soldiers when they're going out to war? Do you say enjoy breathing now because you might not ever come home? No, you encourage them to do the best that they can do, be the best that they can be. And when you're pregnant, you're basically signing up to join this army of moms. So you need someone to say, hang in there, it'll get better. Just when you're about to fall on your face, baby will smile and everything will be okay. Yeah, today's milk is all about, you're never gonna sleep again. That's just not something you need to be telling a new mom. Encourage her, tell her, hang in there, drink coffee, you'll be fine. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. In the first trimester, your, your body really hasn't changed that much, but your boobs are the first to grow. So I say show that off. Um, yeah, they're, they're just kind of fabulous around that time. So just, you know, invest in some V-cut shirts because for right now, that's what you've got to show before the belly comes out, if you're into that type of thing. If you're not, honestly, just keep dressing the way you normally dress in your first trimester. Okay, so for the second trimester, there really aren't too many drastic changes that are going on with your body, except that your belly area is starting to expand slightly. So it may look like you're bloated. It may look like you had a little bit too much to eat last night, which may or may not be true. That's a whole other thing. Uh, so really just invest in things that have Lycra. There's a product out there that's called the Belly Band. You can find it on Amazon. I'm going to include the link for you guys so you don't have to go searching for it. But what it does is it allows the pants that you're wearing pre-pregnancy to just take you a little bit longer into your second trimester where you're slightly bigger but you're not yet at the point where you need to buy new clothing. So you want to invest in things like the Belly Band because it kind of gives you it gives more life to, to your current wardrobe. So that's the second trimester. Now, in the third trimester, where, you know, you're tired, you're lugging this belly around, the last thing you wanna do is go to a doctor's appointment and strip down, only to have to put your clothing on again. That is really tiring. One thing that I like to do is I would wear things that would just fold down easily. You know, it folds up over the stomach when you're out and about, and then it just folds right down when the doctor needs to get in and do the regular sonogram. So that's my biggest style tip for going to the doctor's appointment when you're in your third trimester. Wear pieces that just fold down, shirts that you can just fold up and easily um, expose your belly without having to strip down. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about is something I had no idea existed when I first had my son. It's called the nipple cover. And you can get it on Amazon, you can get it from Bye Bye Baby, you can get it from Babies R Us. Uh, just go in and ask for a nipple cover. It's, a, it's like a little piece of elastic. We're gonna add some pictures in so you guys can see what it looks like. But it just sits right over your nipple so that the baby, so that there's a little bit of a barrier between you and those strong baby gums so they're not clamping down on your nipple as you're trying to get used to this new sensation. The second item I recommend for coming home with baby is the diaper caddy. Uh, I went crazy about getting my diaper changing station together and I had it all set up. Newsflash, when you first come home, you may not be able to get out of bed. 
you may not be able to get off the couch every time that you need to make a diaper change so what I did was I got a diaper caddy I love the diaper caddy from honest the third item I recommend for coming home with a newborn is some type of nursing pillow you might notice after a while you don't need it as much as you start to build up the endurance to keep your arms up and just after a while you get more comfortable with nursing but in the beginning it's a workout and you definitely need support for your arms all right guys that's it for bumping with style today thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and if you want to keep up with all of the latest milk fashion and lifestyle tips follow me on instagram and see you next time